Today we're looking at Little Round Top at Gettysburg. Hello, welcome to the Daily Bell Ringer. Please don't forget to subscribe and take a look at the questions down in the description. Also, don't forget to check out dailybellringer.com where you'll find more resources that go with many of the Bell Ringer videos. The Battle of Gettysburg was one of the most significant battles of the American Civil War. And here, at the southern end of the battlefield, the defense of Little Round Top by the 20th Maine Regiment became a legendary moment. Led by Colonel Joshua Lawrence Chamberlain, the 20th Maine played a crucial role in holding the Union's left flank during the fighting on July 2nd, 1863. The Battle of Gettysburg took place over three days, July 1st, 2nd, and 3rd of 1863. The first day of the fighting had primarily been fought through the streets of Gettysburg as both armies were assembling their troops. By July 2nd, the second day of fighting, the Union Army of the Potomac, commanded by General George Meade, occupied high ground to the south of the city, including Cemetery Ridge, Cemetery Hill, and Little Round Top. General Robert E. Lee, leading the Confederate Army of Northern Virginia, aimed to break through the Union lines and win a decisive victory. Controlling Little Round Top was of extreme importance in the battle, as it provided a strategic vantage point. If the Confederates captured it, they could launch devastating attacks on the Union forces below. As fighting commenced on July 2nd, General Governor Warren, the Union Chief Engineer, saw that Little Round Top was undefended and vulnerable. He urgently sent reinforcements to defend it, including troops from the 16th Michigan, 44th New York, 83rd Pennsylvania, and the 20th Maine Regiment. The 20th Maine was commanded by 34-year-old Colonel Joshua Chamberlain, who before joining the Union Army had been a professor at Bowden College in Maine. The 20th Maine was positioned at the extreme left of the Union line. Chamberlain was ordered by Colonel Strong Vincent, who would later be killed during the attack, to hold the ground at all cost. They faced the 15th and 47th Alabama Infantry, led by Colonel William Oates. Oates and the Confederates were ordered to outflank and roll up the Union line from Little Round Top. Throughout the afternoon hours of July 2nd, the Confederates launched multiple attacks up the steep, rocky slopes of Little Round Top, but the Union troops held strong. The Union soldiers fired volley after volley using rocks and trees for cover. Despite being outnumbered and running low on ammunition, they refused to retreat. Colonel Chamberlain understood that if the 20th Maine fell, the entire Union position could collapse. In a desperate move to hold the line, he ordered his men to stretch their line thin, extending it as far as possible to prevent the Confederates from flanking them. As the battle raged on, the 20th Maine situation became more dire. They were nearly out of ammunition and the Confederates were preparing for yet another assault. Chamberlain knew that they couldn't hold out much longer without reinforcements or a change in tactics. He made a bold decision that would change the course of the battle. At about 5.30 p.m., the Confederates began to move up the hill again at the 20th's position. With little to no ammunition remaining, the men of the 20th were ordered to fix bayonets to their rifles and prepare to charge the enemy. In one of the most dramatic scenes of the war, the 20th charged down the hill at the approaching Confederates. The sudden and unexpected assault caught the Confederates off guard. Many of them were overwhelmed and either surrendered or fled. The 20th, along with reinforcements from Pennsylvania regiments, continued to pursue the Confederates as they retreated, capturing hundreds of Confederate prisoners. The 20th Maine's daring charge successfully repelled the Confederate attack and secured Little Round Top for the Union. The courage and determination displayed by the 20th Maine was instrumental in the Union's defense of Little Round Top. Chamberlain, along with many others in the regiment, were awarded the Medal of Honor for their actions. The defense of Little Round Top and the 20th Maine's bayonet charge were key moments in the Battle of Gettysburg. The Union victory at Gettysburg was a turning point in the Civil War, halting Lee's invasion of the North and boosting Northern morale. Chamberlain and the 20th Maine were hailed as heroes, and their story has been remembered and celebrated as one of the most iconic moments of the Civil War. So with that, hopefully you learned something, and thanks for watching.